they've done studies, you know, 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. And now, back to the back to the back to the Big Dumb Fun Show. Give us a call on the Big Dumb Fun Show. We're here Monday, 7 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. That number, 888-832-7561. Toll free, just for your convenience. You can call us up if we don't answer the phone. Leave us a voicemail message, and we might even play it on the air. So we have Travis Boley in the house. Yep. Chris's man crush. <laughs> oh, shut up. Oh, look at you. Oh, shut up. Talking crap right off the bat, aren't you? Oh, I can't believe it. We were talking about gays in basketball, like and now my man crush is here. Lakers, <laughs> exactly. The smartest guy in the world, the guy that knows everything. That's Chris. Anything no, that, and everything. that's Travis. No, that's Travis. Hold on. We could read from this piece of paper that Chris handed me, so I had some information <laughs> about Travis Boley. Man crush Travis Boley has a travel <laughs> show. <laughs> called In Pursuit of a Dream. No, no, that's an old film. Oh, that's an old film. Yeah, um, American Detour is the new travel show. The travel show is American Detour. So what is this called? A program of on archaeology called okay. America from the Ground Up. Yeah, that's something totally different. Hey, just just start us off for what the hell you got you know, going on now. You know, there's another thing on the notes you missed. Big liberal guy, and according to Chris, genius level intelligence. I don't Boo know that I'm liberal because I own guns. Does that count? Oh. Yeah, you can still be liberal. Liberal okay. with an edge. There you go. <laughs> See? Yeah, the first shot's not to kill. So what's two weeks from everywhere? It's a production company I founded with my friend Kristen Zake out in uh, Los Angeles, and we're working on this uh, American Detour travel show. Ooh. Do you Which, need any hosts? Uh, we, we probably could use some more production assistance because the last one, after he ate that raw turkey testicle while we were filming, I don't mm. know that he'll want to work with us anymore. I'm not good with technology. Now, wait, are you, you're, you're <laughs> from Lexington, Missouri. I grew up just down the river a bit. Yes. And you live? In Independence, In right? Independence now. But you have a production company in L.A. Well, it's that's in where L.A. Because that's here. Job. Because Kristen is in Santa Monica, and I'm in Independence, and uh, I've got little kids, and you don't want them to live in L.A. Well, there's also that thing called communication and social and emails. Yeah, I mean, we text and call and all mm-hmm. that stuff all day long, every day. I mean, I was down in the Ozarks yesterday emailing with Kristen pretty mm-hmm. much all day with my feet sitting in the Black River, so <laughs> you can work from anywhere. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Don't make it a racial thing. Racist. Everything's <laughs> The Black River, it means the Lake of the Ozarks is a very, very, very dirty water. So were you, d- you were working on a project down there? Oh, no, I was just hanging out because it was hot here, and I wanted to go sit in a cold river. <laughs> and there wasn't one like the Missouri right there in Lexington. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I no. no, you can't say that. You, actually you can have say to. ship. You ship? cannot say, I say ship. He didn't have say Have you seen ship. the ships going down the thing? Yeah, and you can't say fudge either. Okay, well, have you seen the stuff they dump in the river here? I don't want to swim in uh, that. Yeah, I grew up in South Dakota. All the pesticides come down river, leaving, you know. That's why we all glow here. Now I know. <laughs> no, well, so um, we filmed the, uh, the, the, well, what's going to probably wind up being like a three-minute trailer and actually been talking to Kristen quite a bit today. We have about a minute and a half of it done and um, really it's ostensibly um, a couple of fish out of water with me as kind of the Charlie's Angels masterhead of just sending my LA people out into the hinterlands to mingle with the common folk and I thought what better place to put a couple of LA people than at a testicle festival. So we did that a couple of weeks ago in a little town called Olean, Missouri which is uh, if you know where Eldon, Missouri is, it's four miles north of Eldon, almost to the Lake of the Ozarks. And they have a testicle festival. They cook up 2,200 pounds of testicles. They bring of your own. Testicles. No, they, Two for they the price of up, one. They bring them up, I think, from Springdale, Arkansas, at the Tyson Processing. Oh, so plant. they're not like human testicles. No, I don't think so. They're not Jeffrey just turkeys. Palmer, just turkeys. Mm-hmm. And so, um, yeah, apparently they raised about $60,000 for the local sports teams on this one day. That's a and lot of know. turkeys I just to trim that off of. I know. 18 years worth of turkey testicles devoured in Olean, Missouri. 18 years? Yeah, they've been doing it for a while. They I just, like, am so lost They said, you know, we're, we're, we're not a big town. We don't have a lot going on. There's no Walmart near us. We need something to bring people here. It's a, it's a really small And town. somebody said... Turkey testicles. So you're serious and it worked. about this turkey Yes, testicles. he's not lying. Yeah. Oh my. That's gosh. the premise of the show. Is that and you know you put people in a in a place that might be uncomfortable. People Does who it wouldn't. Can I ask really who bad? was the gobbler who won? Um, probably my little brother who was a production assistant. We got him to eat one raw on <gasps> camera. He oh kept it down. Gosh. He didn't vomit it up. He was s- nauseous the rest of the day, but he kept it down. We just kept giving him beers, and he was okay. Now, did you eat any testicles there? I ate some that were cooked. They were mm-hmm. a little salty. 
Yeah. Like yeah. real. Like crunchy. Testicle. Yes. Real. Yeah, Haven't you eaten testicle before? Testicle. No. Yes. I don't even Cows? eat beef. Oh. These are turkeys. Yes, you do. You They're and your mom both turkeys do. Turkeys are well oh, hung little buggers, too. I was surprised. I mean, we're talking. Really? So are those ball, things yeah. that hang? How about those things balls. that hang from their, don't they hang? <laughs> their beard? No, what we didn't eat the beards. Little, don't they have no. like little balls little gullet that or hang something? out of there? Yeah, no, that's oh. a t- this is a totally different area of the turkey. I know, but couldn't those accidentally be testicles? I think they're called the beard. But no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, balls they, they have that comb up on top. Yeah, comb over. Yeah. <laughs> So what else do you I've never you actually <laughs> seen a turkey's testicles to be honest I haven't with either. you. This I mean is kinda I like wasn't that looking fear for show. Them. No what's the show that no fear fear factor. Fear factor. Fear factor. Yeah, yeah well this is more of a travel show because we did other things. We, That's, where oh. can you travel to get turkey testicles? Well I think several states have, have turkey. festivals. I, Montana probably has it. Uh, I I've seen them online but we're going to do all kinds of festivals. The festival's sort of the gimmick to get us where we're going, mm-hmm. but we do other stuff there. We're looking. Now, you're expecting this to go on the travel channel? That's one possibility. What, what we're basically doing now is cutting together a three-minute pilot to begin shopping around, or a three-minute uh, demo reel to begin shopping around to different networks, and hopefully one of them will bite. Does it only involve turkey testicles? No. 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 Uh, one of the festivals we're looking at doing is a pirate festival. I got so crazed with this turkey testicle Well, thing. Sanibel Island, Florida, uh-huh. at Fort Myers, has a pirate festival oh. where drunken people drinking rum run around stealing each other's stuff out on boats. You know, Dressed like go. pirates, talking like, like pirates. pirates. And this is a, like a game. It's just a. F- it's a weekend, our matey. We'd be hanging out all fun. weekend. We should play pirate it's trivia. It's like you Indian people doing this thing. It's the same thing. Oh, I'm sorry, right? I'm fascinated that I'm so confused. <laughs> so you've had stuff on TV before, though, right? I mean, yeah, we, we're actually um, getting ready. We just signed a contract with PBS and a different production company called America's Arch. Well, America's Archaeology.org. It's America from the ground up. Is the uh, program? The trailer has been shot. And, and actually the pilot episode is online. It's about Cahokia Mounds. It's an archaeology show about the central U.S. So much of our archaeology seems to be focused in other countries or on the east or west coast, but the, this is more of a Midwest-focused show. And that's, that's kind of like your thing, though, right? It's like you kind of like did the Lewis and Clark thing. Yeah, history and archaeology is really what I do. I mean, my day job is I manage a nonprofit called the Oregon-California Trails Association, and we advocate for on all the states in which the Oregon and California Trail travel through, oh. uh, preserving traces of the trail and promoting it. That's very cool. Very cool. Are we there or what? Yeah. Well, I'm just, uh, this is the bumper music. I'm picking out some music for a song to play. <laughs> you can keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> no one will like us talking over the music. All right, Chris. Yeah. Um, and so you also ran Hall of Fames. I mean... I was, uh, I've been a curator at the your Basketball horn. Hall of Fame. I've been a curator at the Bowling Hall of Fame. I've ran the Pony Express Museum. The real Basketball Hall of Fame? In Springfield, Mass. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I've been there. That's an awesome place. <laughs> Here's the Jefferson with running.